In this week's video, we are going to share with you some ideas on how you can plan your wedding itinerary. Disclaimer, everybody has their own preferences, so it's up to you to decide what's important and what's not. Let's go! What's up guys? We will be visiting the wedding of Rahman and Mel over at Muslim Delights. As you can see, this is how big this space is. Apart from the venue, Muslim Delights also offer services such as decor, wedding gifts, and catering. Now first up on the list, we have the walk-in. Remember, for both bride and groom to take your time, do not rush as you walk in, so that we photographers and geographers can capture you looking all beautiful and pretty. Second on the wedding itinerary would be the solemnization event itself and it's attended by the Tokhadi, the groom, bride and groom's dad, as well as two witnesses. As you can see, the bride is giving her approval to get married to the groom and we will start off by reciting some prayers. Following that would be the rehearsal of the solemnization where the bride's dad will be handing over his responsibilities to the groom. It's a rather emotional moment, so remember to prep some tissues. Also, the groom will be reading out his tatlet, and all parties will have to provide signatures to the wedding certificate. Once the majlis akadnika has ended, the groom will be proceeding to the plamin to meet the bride. After bidding goodbye to the mother, Mel proceeded to greet her husband. Next up, there will be an exchange of dowry and rings by both Rahman and Mel. Also, capturing some of their cute moments with the marriage certificate. Number 4 on the list would be the second walk-in. This is where couples usually change into their second outfit. But in this case, Rahman and Mel decided to just change their songko into tanja and edit sangkulintang for Mel. Moving on, our MC from Exclusive Productions directed both parents to be up on the plumbing to give their blessings. It's another emotional moment for the newlywed as well as the parents. So guys, do take your time when asking for their blessings, asking for forgiveness, and express your gratitude and appreciation for all the sacrifices they have done for you all this while. Next up, do allocate enough time for your photo taking sessions with your family and friends. Here's a personal suggestion. Do engage in small talks while you're still at a plumbing because you never know, they might just leave the event halfway and you might never see them afterwards. Here we have the pa'andam from Best Man the Groom Stylist and Bridal from Vows by Orchid as well as our photographer and videographer by Elko Weddings giving our best shot and ensuring your wedding photos turn out beautifully. Number 7 on the list, remember to set aside time for your mealtime. As the bride and groom of the event, you need to have energy so food is the way to go. Here we have catering from Muslim Delights, the venue provider. And as you can see, while Rahman and Mel are enjoying their food, the MC from Exclusive Productions went around to collate well wishes for the newlyweds. To me, it's so important to engage a good MC for your event because not only do they help to hype your wedding, they also help to coordinate and ensure a smooth flow of the wedding day itself. Afterwards, Rahman and Mel went round the table to greet and talk to their guests before proceeding to the outdoor photo shoot. As they have another outfit and guest to welcome later on, we only played around the vicinity. Even so, with the help of the Pa'andam and Ma'andam, our photographer and videographer from Elko Weddings are able to beautifully capture their wedding photos. Moving on to the last part of the wedding event would be the cake cutting. Here we have a uniquely assembled cake by TK Bakes, who is also a friend of Mel. You can see how amazed the groom's dad was. I mean, who isn't, right? After the final walk-in, Rahman and Mel proceeded to cut the cake and seat each other. They also read out their speeches to the guests as well as to each other. You can see for yourself how many hearts they have touched with their sincere words and profession of love. At the end of the day, it's your choice whether you want to say it out publicly or personally to each other. 
And number 10 on the list is the final photo taking session with your loved ones. If this marks the end of the wedding, do have fun and enjoy the rest of the night. I hope this has been beneficial for you. Goodbye and good luck! Ah, bye lah! <laughs>